This chicken has sinusitis. We're cleaning out the coinal slit today. This chicken came in today with swelling and discharge around her eyes and nostrils, classic signs of a sinus infection or sinusitis, which is inflammation and infection of the upper airways. We also noticed a thick plaque of debris stuck in filling the whole coanal slit. This is the opening on the roof of the mouth that connects to the sinuses. A coanal slit is a small V-shaped opening on the roof of a bird's mouth. It's where the nasal passages drain into the throat. So when a chicken has sinusitis, debris, mucus, or dried material build up here and can block airflow. The most common causes of sinusitis in chickens include bacterial infections such as mycoplasma, E. coli, pasteurella. Nutritional deficiencies are possible, but not as common. Foreign material or feed particles trapped up in there creating a foreign body effect and inflammation and secondary infection and viruses. So to help her breathe comfortably, we're going to remove the debris. You can see the thick chunks being removed with forceps. We started by moistening the area with sterile saline and then used forceps to remove all remaining debris, then swallow with a dry cotton swab. After cleaning obstruction, we did flush the nasal passages to remove any further debris. Next, we'll start systemic antibiotics and anti-inflammatories, which are guided by a nasal culture, helping us identify the bacteria involved. We'll also check her diet and ensure that it is adequate and balanced. For home care, it's important to keep her in a clean, dust-free environment, provide fresh air circulation and ventilation, offer a nutrient-rich food, ensuring adequate vitamin A levels, monitoring for recurrence of nasal discharge or swelling. After the procedure, she started breathing comfortably immediately and her eyes were still clear. Within 24 hours, the owner reported that there was no more nasal discharge, no labored breathing seen. With proper care and follow-up, most chickens with sinus infections make a full recovery, but often owners wait too late. It's important to not let it get to the point where we can't help them or intervene.